Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Jamie. This reading may resonate if you're a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I say may because it's not going to resonate with all of you. That's okay. Maybe the next one will. Only take reading that does. Discard anything that doesn't have something to do with your life personally. Remember that there is no gender, so if I pull a king or a queen, I could be talking about anyone. It's all about their personality. <clears throat> I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. If you'd like more readings, you could subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in our private personal, the information is in the description of the video. So I'm just pulling all the overall energy with the Oracle Clarify with the Tarot. I'll pull some advice at the end. <clears throat> matching the overall energy. So the overall energy here was the nine of pentacles and this is going with self-celebration. I am amazing. I rejoice in my successes, big and small. I am proud of the person I am becoming. I celebrate myself today. So there is a sense of independent self-fulfillment. <clears throat> Jackpot, winning money, getting rich, inheritance, or unexpected money. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Light, look to the space between the trees for answers. You deserve love and scapegoating. Directing one's anger, frustrations, and aggression onto others, blames others for problems and misfortunes. I'm kind of getting that there's a situation in your life that sort of, it really requires you to step up and step out. You see, they're really, it's like you currently are stepping out of your comfort zone. <clears throat> and I feel like it's kind of like, you know, again, I'm, I'm getting independence, you know, it's like, um, you may have your hands kind of like in a lot of different financial things so that you're never like, you know, stuck in one situation financially. But you also could have this sense of independence where you really, really know who you are and what you want in life. And so you just have like a goal and you consistently work at it. And I feel like it is working for you here with jackpot, self-celebration, the nine of pentacles and stepping out of your comfort zone. It's like you know what you deserve and you really won't settle for less. And I feel like you're in a situation here where someone is always directing their anger and frustration at you. So it's like, there's something about your energy that really frustrates a person. Essentially, you have all the confidence that they never could. You love yourself in a way that they never could. You're comfortable with stepping out of what is comfortable and trying something new, doing what's best for you. I feel like you really crush goals. And, and I feel like in a lot of situations, like especially if this is like really work-related, you have really good work ethic. You know, so this could be the type of thing where like you, maybe you do have like a regular nine to five, but you also have like your hands and other money. 
but you still show up to this nine to five as if it was your business, you know, very professional. Um, I just, I feel like in that sense, you really have it together in your life. There's just a person here uh, that I feel like you're trying to step away from because they, you know, they're not accountable. They don't really, in your mind, have the ability to change and they're disruptive to your life. You know, they don't add to your peace. They don't add to your financial independence. You know, like there's something here where it's like they don't add to the quality. They don't they don't deserve you. I think that's how you feel. And I don't think this is in a cocky way, you know. There also could be extreme differences between you and this person, you know, like they could see you you know, as like out of line, you know, like because the nine of pentacles is like a very independent energy while everyone else may just like fall in line to this person's anger and frustration and like, you know, t taking all their problems out on everybody else, you, you don't, you know, there's like something really different about you where you kind of stand out here because this is nine of pentacles energy, very unique on your own. So there's something about this person, this person or the situation not being able to trap you because you don't have like this need and you won't settle. And, and I think that this is a learned thing though, right? Like in the past, you've been in these situations where you had to just figure out how to get it. And all it really ever required was you saying, okay, well, something's not working out. So let's try something else. And every time that you do this, the uniform, oh, the uniform, the universe always responds. I'm ready for better. And then you align yourself to that. And that's where you are right now. I feel like you're unwilling to deal with an energy that makes you feel uncomfortable. You know, I, I feel like what you're, what you're kind of seeing with the other people in this situation, whatever it is, is that they've become very comfortable with someone disrespecting them. Right? <clears throat> and you kind of refuse here. And I, I like that, you know. But I think because you are respecting yourself in this manner and seeing yourself in this Nine of Pentacles energy, that is why it's actually coming in for you here with this jackpot energy. Tell me about this energy for Cancer. cups in the reverse at the bottom of the deck the ten of pentacles yeah I, I really feel you know the nine and the ten of pentacles like you're attracting that one other pentacle you know it's like you refuse to miss opportunities you refuse to remain stuck in positions here with the five of cups in the reverse it's like you know not feeling limited by past restrictions not really thinking about the negative aspects of something and being able to really just like detach and that's what this is really about is like understanding that as soon as you see something's not working out maybe it's time it's better to redirect it and i feel like you've learned from the past maybe in the past you stuck around in situations, you waited for them to get better, you waited to get things that you were promised, you listened to someone selling you a dream, you know, and here you're just like, you understand that the only way to, you know, get these 10 pentacles is to, is to have nine of them yourself, you know, and I feel like that other opportunity is about to come in here because, uh, you know, we have the star here, the emperor, Aries energy, the eight of cups. So it's like a lot of you are, uh, like I said, unwilling to miss other opportunities as they come at you, unwilling to settle or remain, you know, it's, it's like you're unwilling to take big disappointments 
especially when it comes to finances. If there's something specific you want here, that's what you're going towards. And anybody who treats you less than or anyone who can't, you know, uh, come up with what they owe you here, <laughs> essentially, you just detach from it. It's it's like this, your, the whole process of whatever the last real transformation that you went through, like, right, some big, huge life alteration taught you the worst thing that you could ever do is to decide for yourself that you are stuck in a particular situation. Because when you say that, you affirm that you're stuck in a situation and then you can be played with, manipulated, lied to, sold the dream. <clears throat> That just can't happen for you. And you may actually even see it happening to the people around you. If there are limitations, if there's no opportunity for advancement, if it's not going to give you more money, if there are no raises, if, you know... There's no reason to invest time and energy into something you're just not going to. And I don't think this is even particular to work. This could just be your current energy is, I don't need anybody and I don't need any bullshit. If something doesn't work out over here, I have three opportunities to make more over here. I'm going to go do that. No hard feelings. It's all this. I feel like you are all business and no games right now. <laughs> Nine and ten of pentacles, though, with the star and the emperor. You're really not fucking around, and you will not accept less than what you're asking for. And I feel like, especially when it comes to respect, like, that is bare minimum here. <clears throat> so what do they need to know about look out for the order? Why do all the cards want to go on the damn floor? Temperance, Sagittarius energy, the Two of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, the Five of Pentacles. I feel like someone is going to try to like tamper with something going on here, you know? <laughs> like, I feel like as things are starting to balance out and you're choosing, you know, there's like the situation here where you're deciding that you're leaving behind a situation, a person, a place, a job, whatever it may be. You're willing, I don't know, there's like this. possibility that things could get rough you know and I feel like here you need to just kind of step out on faith uh, <clears throat> there's a possibility that there will be a financial struggle if you were to just like leave a job right there's a possibility that it may be hard to make new friends there it could be a possibility that it would be hard to meet a new lover i don't know what the situation is here but like what you need to be aware of is that you kind of are going to want you're going to like be going back and forth about what direction to take and i feel like you're there's this negative aspect to it and you need to just sort of like maintain a not so stressed mind here because this is supposed to happen i feel like there is somebody here who has the ability to just kind of like fuck things up further and I feel like you may be afraid to tell this person you want to leave a situation or something because they can make things chaotic for a little bit. But I feel like here it's saying to go ahead and step out on faith that you will be taken care of, you know, because <clears throat> I do see someone not really thinking before they react, you know, and I don't know if you're dealing with a person like that with this, you know, like they direct all their anger and frustration on someone. So this would be kind of like if you gave 
a boss had noticed that you were leaving. And they get pissed off, so they fire you. Thinking that you're going to go broke. That's fine. What you don't know is you're going to be all right. Nine of Pentacles, Temperance. There's some like old money coming in or money you don't expect coming in. But what it would do to the person that's trying to mess you up here, and it could be this emperor person um, in your life. So to, to me, the, for a lot of you, this is like a boss who feels like, you know, usually they're able to like kind of control people because they hold all the power of their money and their pay, you know, and you really don't give a fuck. You have money. But what it would do to this person is leave them messed up. You know, they don't have somebody to work, <laughs> you know. So they, of course, would have to do it. You know, there's kind of like something there with that where like, you know, this is, the, you could be dealing with somebody who would like, you know, cut off their own nose to spite their face. And I wouldn't even worry about it because again, with jackpot, nine of pentacles, self-celebration, like because you're respecting yourself and choosing to just walk away from a situation where you are literally, I, I feel like a lot of you are being treated like dirt in a situation. Hell, for some of you, this is a situation at work, but this person treats you like, you know, somebody who abused you in your childhood or something, you know what I mean? That literally, like, they, like, really, there's something about the energy that, like, you're just not, you won't accept, you won't accept how this, a particular situation, or, and I think here a specific person is treating you. <clears throat> so I would be aware of some pettiness coming your way, but not to worry about it, temperance, like don't even worry about it. Because the struggle that they're trying to give to you, they can't, but they will put it on themselves. And that's what happens when you don't think before you react, you know? Anyway, let's pull some solid advice because I'm just the world. Yeah, it's, I think, time to move on from something. It, it will serve your best interest if you do, you know? The Magician, Virgo Gemini Energy, the Two of Swords, the Five of Swords. I feel like you have to, you, I don't even think I could talk you into staying where you are. This is a decision that has already been made. The advice is to go with the decision that you've made. And I feel like there, the, the, this is more like a worrying about somebody's energy. Like you may be trying to do the right thing here. And someone's just trying to come for you. And it, it may do something to you in the moment. But it's all going to work out for the best. But it's really going to, it's like this, whatever blockages someone is trying to create for you, they're going to create for themselves here. This is like, they do this often too. It's like self-sabotage, period. This is a person who's like immature. They can't be accountable. They don't. <sighs> the five of swords is a really kind of mature energy. It's a five, you know, but it's an energy of someone who will win at all costs. They don't, you know, eat even at the cost of their own suffering here, you know? So it's really giving like actual like narcissistic vibes, you know, somebody who like really does suffer. They don't understand, like <laughs> they don't understand why this keeps happening, you know? Um, but it's because of them, you know, but they're not accountable enough to actually understand it. You may actually truly understand that about this person. But it also permits that there would not be any change. There's just something here where, like, you need to be respected a certain way. People do need to treat you a certain type of way. You do need to be appreciated. You do need to be loved for who you are. Anybody who's not treating you like that, you just need to redirect your life away from. <laughs> and you will always win. But here it's like, <clears throat> there is better to come. This, this situation could be a test of self-respect, you know. Um, and remember that your reaction to it also as a way of self-respect, you know, like say that you get, well, I'm just using the job here because this is pentacles. 
you tell your boss that you're going to leave in two weeks and it's because you finally completed your degree and now you want to go work in the field that you're supposed to work in, right? Like, that's why you did it. <laughs> and this person just, like, fires you on the spot so that you don't have those two weeks, although it doesn't matter because it's just two weeks earlier that you can start the new job, right? It's kind of like some petty situation like that that you don't expect, though. You're like, wow, this it really like a person that would just cut off their own nose to spite their face. Like, like it just... <laughs> Like, they don't think before they react. And it also just really doesn't have anything to do with you. I think this is, like, like in reality, you'll see this as, like, this is the only um, way that you would even know that you mattered in the situation is because a person is reacting so childishly about you leaving, you know? And uh, I think that just further confirms that you're supposed to leave. But I think that, you know, it's like... You don't really need to, somebody I think is trying to hurt you in a way that they can't because they're trying to hit you with five pentacles when you're in the nine of pentacles energy. So it's like your own individual, you know, jackpot is, is going on here. It doesn't even have anything to do with this situation. This is just a little tiny part, of, you know, it's like one pentacle to these nine pentacles and somebody's talking to you like, like if they were to let you go, you would just be devastated and get evicted next week or something, you know? <laughs> and I just don't think this person has the like mental capacity to understand that you don't live like that, you know, and that you don't need them. But actually they're frustrated in losing you because you are important where you are. So it's, it's messy, but that's how projection works. <laughs> Bye.